Good day learners and welcome to today's video where we're talking about different points of view when looking at objects. So when we talk about this, we need to understand that some, some, sometimes sorry, it is necessary to show an object from more than one viewpoint in order to get a better idea of what it is. Okay, That's why we look at different points of view. For example, our 3D shapes or what they would term isometric drawings. These drawings are useful when trying to describe exactly what the final product looks like from all angles and viewpoints. So sometimes you will see, you know, these like 3D renderings of a particular object so that you can see what it will look like, um, especially when it comes to 3D printers. You would have a lot of these isometric drawings before actually printing so that you can see what it looks like from all the different viewpoints. Then we have drawings that come in a plan view. Now, this is a bird's eye view. In other words, this is like looking at the class over here, but you've taken the roof off and you're looking at it from above. That's why I'm telling you here. This is a drawing of something as seen from above. And as such, they are two dimensional drawings. So examples of things like maps, building plans, and scale diagram. So let's have a look at these examples. Here we have a typical map. Okay, again, uh, top down view as seen from above. We have our building plans also. Here you can see the coffee shop. It's like the roof has been taken off and we are looking at it from above. Um, note with a lot of these, whether it's your maps or your building plans, you'll often have these keys at the bottom. Um, so that you can understand what you are looking at. I mean, there we know is a front door. Here we can see if that's a door, this is also going to be a door to the kitchen, a door to this area A, but now I might wonder what that is. I look at the key, I see, ah, okay, so that's a toilet. That is a wash basin, so obviously this is the bathroom, even if it's not labeled as such. Over here in the kitchen, I can see I've got the kitchen sink, and then these drawings all the way over here are doors okay there i can see my couch my table seating area etc but this is from above this is a floor plan and then we also have scale dry uh, diagram sorry a scale drawing scale diagram is a drawing which has been reduced or enlarged from its original size to a specified scale and the scale will be expressed in a ratio so here for example is old optimus prime um, and the scale drawing is at a, on a ratio of one to two. So this is the scale drawing. They've actually reduced it in size from the original object. Okay, so please remember your scale is going to be in the form of a ratio. Here's another one. Um, our floor plan over here, and we can see here's a table, here's a couch, here's the window, this is the rest of the actual place. This is our um, total area over here. And we can see that this is working on a scale or a ratio as well okay then we have front views okay now this is when we start talking about um, the the elevation of a particular drawing so here we can see this is a just a normal little house and this is the north elevation now why am i showing you this when i'm talking about the front view because the front view is known as the front elevation and this is looking at the object you know, from the front. So you are standing over here looking at the front of the house. Why would they call it north elevation? Because in South Africa, most of the houses are built facing north, okay, so that it can get uh, the warmth of the sun. So please, whether they say north elevation or front view or so on, just know that that should be the front of the house. Here we can see the windows, we can see the door. Now, this same object over here, there we can see when we look at it from the side or our side view, this will be known as our side elevation. Sometimes they'll say east and west elevation. So please, it doesn't matter which one they use. It's still looking at it from the side, right? We're looking at the sides of an object. This is the roof because remember, we are now standing on the side of the house looking at it from this angle. So we're not going to see this over here, you know, in, in terms of that particular angle. This is how um, we'll actually see it and then on the west side that's just the other side of the house that we are looking at okay 
So that's our front view, that's our side view. And then lastly, please take note that with an abstract object, it is not always possible to know which view is the front view. But when trying to decide which view to use as the front view, please take the following two points into consideration. The front view should show the longest dimensions and the front view should also have the fewest hidden lines. So here we have a little example of um, an abstract object and you can see there's our object. We're looking at it from the top, the left, the side, um, the rear view and the bottom view. And there we can see our front view. And what did we say? It should show the longest dimensions and the fewest hidden lines. Okay. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how we um, check out different points of view on various objects and drawings.